friends. I'm Mike. And I'm Karen. And we are the Baskets. Join us as we begin flipping the farm. Another beautiful Saturday morning out. Uh-oh, Mike's got the chainsaw. Yeah, it's that time again. What you gonna do? We're gonna knock the, the big tree that's behind this house. Behind the horse shed. The or the stable. It's Sta gonna be a house. Stable. Oh, you just gave away some information. Oh, well, <laughs> the, uh, uh, that tree's dead. We're behind it. I'll take you back there in a second and show you. It's, you know, gonna sway him back and forth and scrap stuff up. And then I'm gonna get rid of a couple of small trees that we just want any we don't want any trees that are gonna get up underneath the building cement and all that stuff so we're getting rid of all those cool cool Yay! so he's gonna do tree work and i am going to start taking out some of these panels and rearranging and moving them out of sight he actually decided to start right behind the shop slash garage and take out this tree that was rubbing up against the ten and causing some damage and then he trimmed up the other tree next to it. I just started tackling these panels. Those suckers are pretty heavy and so yeah, um, dragging them, you know, I, I try to carry them and turns out dragging them is so much easier. Okay, so this part, I don't think I have shown you before. This is the back side of the horse stable. And the house is right over here, as you see, barn, well, shop, garage. I keep calling it a barn. It is a barn to me, but it, we're calling it the shop, the silver one. And then back there is the big horse barn. So this is a horse stable and we have plans for that. Mike may have given a little bit of information away at the beginning, but this tree here is dead or it has very little life left in it and it is rubbing on the back of it. So we want to go ahead and get that out. So he is about to tackle that. If he doesn't give me a heart attack, you guys, I don't know what will. He cracks me up with his chainsaw, climbing on things, um, telling me, uh, this is slippery, I'm starting to slide. It just is so stinking crazy. If you haven't figured that out by now, just wait. You're about to have a heart attack with me here in just a second. So we um, just had to tie a strap to several of these big branches and pull them down to keep them from falling on top of the stable um, but we are not able to get the whole entire thing so we'll have to just probably get some help with that um, Mike's getting up there and raking all the leaves and stuff off oh, you probably just saw all that stuff that Mike raked off of the roof there so we're standing here and we're like oh my goodness there's water running no 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 I'm gonna give you an up close hopefully Like water dripping, though. Holy moly. Here he is just trimming up another one of the trees. Okay, and here it is all nice and trimmed up. And we're still working on that one. We may have to call in the big guns to do that so we don't ruin the roof of the stable. But that's looking so much better already. And then we have a massive burn pile go, or well, ready to burn. We've got to leave here in a second and go to another fun celebration for some very dear friends of ours. But when we get back, <laughs> when we get back, we have plenty to start burning. We did a couple more things before we left and Mike just had to trim one last tree. Okay, and remember earlier when I said you guys were gonna have a heart attack because he had the chainsaw, he cut the branch, the branch bounced back, hit him in the face. He throws the chainsaw off to the side, lands on the fence, gets up and is totally fine. Thank you, Jesus. We just went to that party and when we got back home, 
this surprise was sitting on our front porch. They weren't supposed to be delivered till next week. So I'm really excited because I'm about to put these together while Mike's in the house doing like spray foam and stuff with the windows. So coming out here, Karen is finishing up the last screw, sitting in these beautiful rocking chairs our we put them together on our dream porch on our front porch how fun is that these are great i'm gonna link these for you guys in the description below of the video so you can get these on amazon too it's yes cool. king yes that's what it says i guess i had ordered four of these and only two came in today and one of them was white so i'm returning it and the others will be in very soon mike is up there spray foaming all the cracks and holes and things. So um, I'm gonna run outside and continue working on gates, taking down panels and gates. A little bit bummed because the wind picked up enough that we can't burn all this brush that we piled up here this morning. But the next calm day we get, we are gonna have a really great fire going. I just continued to take down panels, panels, and more panels. And then whenever Mike finished up with all the spray foam stuff inside, he came out to help me and we were able to clear out this whole section and it just really opened up the space. And now then I can mow it at the end of the week. And you may be wondering why we're spending so much time outside right now. It's the weather, you guys. Our weather has been so crazy here in Oklahoma, so we take advantage of the beautiful sunny days for sure to be outside. <laughs> I know we say exciting a lot, but here we go. We received one of our deliveries from Lowe's today, so yeah, Mike was super pumped about that for sure. Mike, where are we going? Lowe's. <laughs> we go... We go here every other day, even make lists, and we put it on our phone, and we go, oh, we, and then we just forget, and then we need something else, and then we, here we are again. They love us here. It's a lot. Hello. So today is Tuesday, and we've been out running errands and going to some appointments and different things all day. You guys, I am so tired. I have nothing left in me right now. I gotta muster up some energy. I seriously would rather work a full day on the farm than go do what we did today, which was run errands. But Mike is out there, you can hear him, mixing up a floor leveler because we need to level the floor in the spare room because it's really low in that corner. And so that's what we're about to do. So we used a different floor leveler than we have in the past with some of the houses that we flipped. And there was definitely a little bit of a learning curve and a little bit of frustration that went on here. But, um, you know, Mike was doing such a great job with it. I just decided to sit and chill because I was so stinking tired. Alrighty, so today, Wednesday, we decided that we wanted to go ahead and cut out for the window that's gonna be in the spare room. So that is what we're doing here. Um, it was just easier to go ahead and put the wall up than cut out because we weren't certain where this window was going when we put the wall up. And I know it's just the little things, but oh my word, this already just makes it feel so much more like a home. And here he is just framing up some of the windows so that we'll be able to board them up and they'll be ready for the windows when they arrive in a few weeks. Finally, this old door is getting removed. I am really excited about this because that is where my new kitchen window is going. So this was a big achievement today for sure. He just continued to work on the door and he's about to start framing it up. So while he's doing that, I'm doing this. Finally, we had calm enough weather to burn today. This is still all the piles from last Saturday.
This really didn't take him that long at all, and I'm so happy that it's done. He did such a great job on that. All right, so it's story time. And if you know me very well, you know I love a good palette project, so here we go. So the other day, I mentioned that my daughter and her husband, my son-in-law, were here helping us burn and do things. Well, their wedding is April 22nd. That may sound a bit confusing because yes, they are already married, but let me just rewind a bit for you. My daughter and my father-in-law, Mike's dad, were incredibly close. Um, they talked on the phone and were just the best of friends. Well. We noticed that Grandpa had been ailing and wasn't feeling well back at Thanksgiving. And at Christmas, a couple of days before Christmas, our daughter and her fiance decided to go ahead and have their wedding in Grandpa's backyard because she knew he would not be able to attend her wedding April 22nd. Unfortunately, he passed away in January. So it was such a blessing for him to have been a part of her ceremony back in December. And so this is the unity cross that she asked me to make for their upcoming wedding ceremony on April 22nd. I just thought it'd be fun to share and make here at the farm. This was a nice surprise that we saw here at the farm today, a mama fox and a couple of babies. If you know me, I'm a nature lover and I love to photograph things like that. So hoping to see them more often. Another fun thing that happened today was Mike got my studio door framed in. So yay for that. All right, so it's Friday and the place is getting a bit overgrown because of the recent rain. So I'm gonna jump on the mower and Mike's gonna weed eat. I just ran out of gas, so um, we'll have to run home and get more gas, but Mike's been weed eating and just cleaning the place up. Well, this looks like a fun project, doesn't it? The tree has grown through the gate. Hey there. Hey guys. Another great week. This is week nine already. Time's going by fast. Yep. We uh, got quite a bit done this week. My favorite thing I think might've been today because we got to go pick out appliances and put our, well, we purchased our cabinets. Got all that taken care of. Uh, well, I might sneak, give you a sneak preview of what our cabinets and things are going to look like. So, yeah, pretty maybe. fun stuff. Uh, got to do a few more windows. I got two more doors to frame in, and then we will more than likely start building walls. We're waiting for the the plumber who came today yep. marked out everything and our friends, their construction company, they're gonna do all the cutting out of the cement and then the plumber will come in and run all the drain lines. Aspen, the lines. Aspen plumbing. Aspen plumbing. They are phenomenal. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube sure you or not, are. but I would highly recommend if you live in Tulsa Broken Arrow area, uh, we had another uh, plumber came through and, and we weren't real impressed with them, but Aspen is phenomenal. That would be pretty cool. Whenever they get all that stuff uh, going, that would yep. be really super cool. Um, you saw me working on a wooden cross. So that is for a super exciting special event that Ooh, takes yeah. place next weekend. Our daughter is getting married and um, the story that I told you just a little while ago while making that cross pretty cool so we'll show you a couple of wedding pictures next week maybe i think yeah we hope you guys are still enjoying subscribe like comment share we want you to share this and let everybody see it I don't absolutely know. yeah yeah we're uh, we're excited uh one of these days maybe a lot of you that are watching can come out here and sit on the front porch and we can Share, share a story together. Yep. So, all right. You guys have a happy Easter and we'll see you next week. All right. Bye-bye. I just have to share this with you guys really quickly. Every time we leave the farm, we approach this corner and we stop here and the grass has been so high and it's so irritating because you can't see around it and it's really hazardous. So, Mike jumped out and decided to weed eat it really quickly. Okay, and if you've stuck it out through the end, here's your sneak preview of the kitchen. You guys, once again, we truly appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching.